Are we starting? Yeah, we you already started. hit record. Okay, first of all, my name is Eddie. My friend John over here. John, say hi. Hello. Just told me I have to tag him as Ram Noodle. So, should I get started on the name Ram Noodle, or do I just... You gotta look at the camera. Such a good boy, always instructing me and telling me what to do. Yeah, stoop down to my level, sweetie. So today, or tonight, we're going to talk to you about must-see gay movies. You just kicked me. You're sitting on the ground, I just... Yeah, but you can't kick me while I'm on the ground. Sweetie, we're trying to perform for our audience here. Okay. Well, what movie should we talk about first? Well, let's talk about our most recent find of Bad Teacher, which we really loved. Oh. John is going to get a visual aid while I tell you my favorite scene from it. It's a deleted scene. John, pretend that you're the small emotional girl who has problems. Start crying. Baby, start crying. Sweetie, what's the matter? My dog just died. No, it's your boyfriend wants to go to second base. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My boyfriend wants to go to second base. Oh, sweetie, if you don't want to suck a dick, don't suck a dick. And that is clip number one from our favorite movie. John, why don't you be a lamb? Be a lamb, John, and tell us your favorite gay movie. My favorite gay movie has to be, like, gay movie or movie? movie? Well, something a gay man would like or identify with. Serial mom. Serial mom. <clears throat> Every gay Pussy man Willows, identify Daddy. with that. Pussy Willows. John, what's your favorite clip from this movie? There's so many. Um, how about the phone scene? That is a classic. Do you remember a line that you'd like to share with our audience? Anytime you want to say it, zip code 212, fuck you! <laughs> 216, fuck you! <laughs> that might be an exaggeration of what really happened, but... The next movie I would like to say for a gay man would be Showgirls. Know me Malone. Thrust it. it. Thrust it. I do not own Showgirls. Mean Girls. Is Showgirls that one with that one black chick with the curly hair? No, I'm thinking Jesse of, um, Spano, Saved by the Bell. Yeah. Greatest role ever known to man for a woman to play from a, a TV morning cartoon show. Next movie I would say is Mean Girls. Um, if you're from Africa, why are you white? Oh my god, God, Karen, you just can't go around asking people why they're white. Ugh. You're supposed to share the clip with me so that we can reenact it. Okay, let's... Amateur! Okay. Wanna try it again? Okay, start fresh. If you're from Africa, why are you white? God, Karen, you just can't go around asking people why they're white. No, it's, oh my god, Karen, you can't just ask people why they're white. Okay. And you have to say it like you're a white girl. Don't you fucking snarl at me. Why don't we give this a test view to see what we need to fix? We're not done yet. We need more videos. <sighs> Another gay movie? Oh my god. Another gay movie is a classic. Mommy Dearest. Huh. I take it he's about to reenact something for you. Turn and look at me very dramatically. Okay. This is me looking very dramatically. <laughs> Mom. What's wrong, honey? What's going on? I think I might like that. Well, duh. <laughs> you said all wrong. Get up. Get up. Get up. Come down. The you audience the, can't no, see you. No, you gotta be the one who bees gay. The audience can't see you. Right, you gotta be the one who bees gay. Okay, you want me to be right, gay? You're the gay one now. Oh, fucking try to steal my camera shine. Alright. This is why True Diva works alone. But go ahead. Ready? <gasps> Mom, I gotta tell you something. What's going on? Mama, I'm gay. Duh! <laughs> 
<laughs> I've known since you did Madonna! <laughs> That's his favorite part from one of his favorite movies. Well, my sister, I comment, I posted that on Facebook the other day. I was like, Mom, I think I might like guys. And my sister's comment was, Well, duh! So I, I commented back and was like, Joanne, do you really, have you seen another gay movie? She goes, ha ha ha, wink wink. So I, I guess that means my sister watched another gay movie. So. Well, I will speed this up a little more quickly. Um, Romy and Michelle's High School Reunion. Dream Girls, Moulin Rouge, The Notebook, Clueless, Chris for Body. What's that? You've never seen Chris for Body? No. It's about a, a young gay boy who comes out of the closet to his brother. His brother outs him to the rest of the family, and they have like a family Christian intervention where they try to stop the perversion. And the kid ends up getting driven to suicide, and the rest of the movie is about his mom trying to cope with knowing whether her son's going to heaven or hell, and she actually becomes one of the biggest activists in the flag based on a true story. You see, our videos are not only entertaining, but informative. Let's skip from our favorite TV shows and plunge... I mean, let's skip from our favorite movies and plunge into TV. Mm -hmm. Well, well, let me tell you everything. And I do mean everything. Gossip Girl is it for me. My panties are wet just talking about it. Doctor John? Who. Doctor Who. It's Nip a... Tuck was a classic in its day. Uh, well, let's talk about classics. Um, queer as folk. Bitch, are you gay or not? You're talking about, oh, I like Doctor Who. Doctor Who is funny. There's <laughs> even a really hot character in it who was one of the biggest homos in freaking Chicago. And his Nip Tuck, name is Captain Weed, Jack. Desperate Housewives. I mean, get with it. He was gay. Oh, Desperate Housewives. Oh. Housewives of Atlanta. Housewives of New Jersey. What's wrong with that? Project Runway? Actually, for Housewives of Atlanta, I, I told myself I was Kim. And my best friend was Kyle. And he's the man out of us. Just saying. And I then, think I could have shown one more ounce of bosom for this. Just saying. Okay. Anyway... Okay. Here, let me show my bosom. Takes one to know one. Look how pale I am. Oh, ooh, look, I have chest hair. Two of them. Two chest hair came in. I shaved my chest like a real man would. I am a real man. That's why I'm growing out my chest hairs. If you're from Africa, why are you white? Oh my god, Karen, you just can't go around asking people why they're white. Well, I think that you've gotten a titch of what my night has been dealing with. You know what's really funny is you let your cigarettes burn half the time. You waste so many cigarettes and just letting them burn. Let it burn. I think we could have picked a better background song, too. I don't think this song by Adele is quite kicking it for our theme song. You need, like, s and by Rihanna. Yeah. Now you're talking, baby. Yeah. Something I can dance to. We're going out dancing in a little bit. Jeez, it's going to be a fun night. Hi, I'm John. I want to go out dancing. I can't mm -hmm. wait. My life so is really great so right good. now. My life is awesome right now. I did not wear my tight ball popping pants for nothing. I did not wear four layers for nothing. He likes the layered look. I believe in putting it all right out there for the world to see, but John lacks the mystery to him. I am a fashion consultant. I tell people how to dress. I'm just a diva, flat out. This is called style. Look, I'm... Pushing... Learn something from Galinda from Wicked, okay? I'm almost 20 years old. I think I know style. <sighs> and if you believe that, then you'll believe our picks for the best movies. And that we wish you all to have a good night. Whenever I see someone less fortunate than I... <sighs> Let's face it. <laughs> Who is it? Less fortunate than I, my tender heart tends to start to bleed. If you're gonna do a finale song. And when someone needs a makeover, I simply have to take over. I know, I know. Goodbye. Goodbye and good night. Till next time. That's totally my closing line. I do deuces.
Um, and then I close out. Of my well, video. sweetheart, why don't you figure out how to close out of this video so we can end it? You, you click on the red square at the corner. Done. And it stops it. Like communist China. Click it. Click.